powers of the world to come are what take you to the world to come. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in Holy the Ghost earth God today. The earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. Holy Ghost of God My name is Andrew Hemstraught. Thank you for joining us. If this is your the first time here, make sure you subscribe. Jesus if this is right isn't your first time here, and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. So we're talking about the Holy Ghost here because He is the Spirit. And here it says, I would not have you ignorant. Well, tonight I'm going to be speaking on some things that most people are still ignorant of. And hopefully after this, we won't be as ignorant. Or you won't be. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. So, it will profit you if you can get a, a grasp on this new manifestation of the Spirit that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Say, new manifestation of the Spirit. New manifestation of the Spirit. Because the Spirit Himself manifests Himself in one way in certain dispensations and then in another way in other dispensations. Does that make sense? So we're going to talk about a new manifestation of the spirit and i told you a few weeks ago that i'm going to begin speaking on this more often and there's reasons for this there is a new manifestation of the spirit coming and you have to know about it and you have to be with him to participate in it the new manifestation of the spirit is not the old manifestation of the spirit is this too difficult no. if it's new it's not the old and if you're all wrapped up in the old you might miss the new because you don't think this is a manifestation of the spirit those that are highly skilled in the old manifestations of the spirit mm -hmm. will have a hard time transitioning into the new in fact few of those people will sorry but that's the truth mm -hmm. it's too costly for them to transition they're so established in the old that's where their ministry is that's where their gifts are that's how they they flow and operate and they're so invested in that and it would be too costly for them to move over into the new but there are some of us who need to go on in fact we must go on say we must, we must go, on. go on hebrews chapter 6 and verse 1 therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of christ let us go on there has to be someone who will go on mm -hmm. let us go on yeah. i'm intending to go on verse 3 you still here mm -hmm. and this we will do let us go on this we will do and he uses the word will there because you have to be willing to go on it's an act of your will i will go on say i will, I will go, on. go on and sadly that means you have to leave some things behind some things that were fine and good but if you're gonna go on you have to leave them drop it drop it let us go on I like how it says if God permit and this we will do, verse 3 and this we will do if God permit I'm here to tell you tonight God is permitting some of us to go on we're at the last of the last days beginning the transition 
listen beginning the transition over into the next dispensation we're not at the beginning of this Holy Ghost dispensation we're at the end of the Holy Ghost dispensation and worse we are experiencing a new manifestation of the Spirit mm -hmm. a new manifestation of the Spirit that will take us over into the next they didn't need this at the beginning they weren't ready to go over into the next dispensation they just got into this one are you here and the way God always does things someone has to say these things first they have to be said first before we enter into them Romans chapter 10 did you find it Romans 10 14 how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed and how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard and how shall they hear without a preacher and how shall they preach except they be sent mm -hmm. so you have to believe what you've heard mm -hmm. and if you haven't heard it you can't believe it and you can't go on yeah. so some of these things have to be said yeah. by a preacher I'm glad you can what if we never preach it then we don't hear it we can't believe it right mm -hmm. in fact verse 17 says so faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God so you can only go listen you can only go as far as the Word of God that you've heard mm -hmm. takes you and if all you've ever heard is the old manifestations of the Spirit then that's as far as you can go and this is how God does things he sends his word somebody preaches it somebody hears it somebody believes it and then they will go on say they, they will, go on. will go on those who've heard and believed but it must be said first somebody has to say it John the Baptist was at a transition point remember he was he was probably the last preacher that came and had a message about Jesus coming you remember this mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 3 verse 11 I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance was anybody doing that before he was operating in a new manifestation of the Spirit right nobody was doing this before was he led by the Spirit to do this mm -hmm. obviously I indeed baptize you with wa water unto repentance but he that comes after me is mightier than I whose shoes I am not worthy to bear he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire John was a critical figure in a transition period he said Jesus was coming and according to some I've heard this just recently according to some people that you would know they said John prop didn't have any prophecies of anything because they're looking at this going you're looking at all the prophets right and they usually say you know so and so is gonna happen and this kingdom is gonna come and that's gonna fall there'll be two horns and three heads and you know and this this is what they're used to with the prophet but here comes this prophet baptizing people preparing the way for a new dispensation to enter according to some John never prophesied anything but he did he was prophesying literally that Jesus was coming let's look back here Matthew chapter 3 verse 1 in those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying say and saying, and saying. so he had to say some things repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand Four, verse 3 this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah saying the voice of one crying in the wilderness prepare ye the way of the Lord and make his paths straight that was very unique it was it wasn't the kind of prophet ministry that other people were used to it was new in fact his ministry was prophetic in what he did even more than what he said he was preparing 
the way one who paved the way for who Jesus and Jesus's entrance into the earth was the beginning of a new dispensation the dispensation of Jesus mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. I hope I'm getting this across so we've come to know prophecy in the prophet's office in terms of the gifts of the Spirit so if somebody is operating are you here mm -hmm. somebody's operating the gifts of the Spirit and they have the word of wisdom and the word of knowledge the gift of prophecy mm -hmm. You have to have that one right then we've got all oh, that guy's a prophet because he's operating in those gifts of the Spirit say gifts of the Spirit yes and that would qualify someone to be in that office of a prophet in fact all the Old Testament prophets operated in that same capacity via gifts of the Spirit and this is how we knew them but we didn't know those in terms of a dispensational shift that was different Jesus said John the Baptist was greater than all of the other prophets are you here do you remember this he said he's greater so greater would have to be different than the other ones mm -hmm. stay with me here if something's greater than something else it's not the same as something else it's different say it's different it's different so the way he did things and the way he operated was different than all the other ones and it was greater and a lot of people didn't see it a lot of people didn't recognize it because it was new say it was new, it was new. a dispensational shift is not an anointing mm -hmm. say that a dispensational, a dispensational shift, shift is not, not an anointing can you understand that yes. and if we're all wrapped up in understanding and recognizing and we do that's an anointing that's an anointing that's a gift of the Spirit that's a gift of the Spirit but none of those are a dispensational shift mm -hmm. because a dispensational shift is not an anointing mm -hmm. John was paving the way operating in the function of a dispens dispensational shift that caused people to enter into a new dispensation doing the same thing more or less keep doing the same thing more do the same thing a little less it only gets you to where you've already been and that's where the church is even now but it will take powers of the world to come to get you there where's there the world to come mm -hmm. the dispensation to come will take powers of the world to come to get you there just doing the same thing that you've been doing only gets you to where you've already been does this make sense mm -hmm. in fact in Hebrews Hebrews chapter 6 remember we talked about let us go on and this we will do you remember this wasn't that long ago verse 5 and have tasted of the good word of God and of the powers of the world to come these are powers that function in the next dispensation are you here and that's what we are seeing that is the new manifestation of the Spirit is that new dispensation that we are moving over into powers of the world to come first Corinthians chapter 15 verse 25 for he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet say all enemies, all enemies. do you know what those are well all of them right is sickness an enemy yes. is disease an enemy yes. is poverty an enemy mm -hmm. verse 26 the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death if death is destroyed you are now my friend in a new dispensation 
and he says you have to reign until the last enemy shall be put under his feet you are the body of Christ the body of Christ has feet yeah. right mm -hmm. is it a footless body of Christ mm -hmm. no his feet that means you are the ones to put death under your feet and if you don't do it then things just keep going on the way they've been and you can only go so far the last so what where would that be would that be at the beginning of this dispensation or the end of this dispensation like it seems like the end yeah. see mm -hmm. which means someone has to do it and this we will do if God permit and he does permit it why wouldn't he permit it if he wrote it mm -hmm. the last enemy shall be put under foot is death the old way waits around for a rapture been here done that have how long we've been doing that pretty long time the old way waits around for the rapture the new manifestation of the spirit is intentional actively being caught up and away transforming faith that transforms you listen from one dispensation to the next transforming faith transforming the earth and some would say that's too far-fetched I can't believe it it's not been preached and therefore it's not been believed you have to preach these things first and it might be the first time you heard it you didn't believe it, it was too much mm -hmm. <laughs> it's too much but as you continue down this road it will seem less and less of an impossibility and you'll begin to realize that this is what you're called to do this is where you're called to go and your willingness changes and you're willing to believe things that other people simply would never believe in fact you wouldn't believe it before but now I can be translated from one thing to the next I can be one of those who puts all sickness and all poverty and the last enemy death under my feet someone has to go here what's your problem well how can you hear and believe without a preacher it has been said that all grandeur begins with delusions of grandeur and I've been criticized because I dare to believe something I dare to believe something that other people don't believe what's that mean I can go somewhere that those other people can't go yeah. and I can also take people with me mm -hmm. to that same place most of the church is still caught up in the old needing healing needing deliverance and they still flock in large numbers to those with that type of anointing but they can only go so far because that anointing won't take them here dispensational shift is not an anointing I've been there I've operated in anointings healing anointings gifts of the Spirit I'm not speaking against the anointings and the gifts of the Spirit you understand mm -hmm. but it only takes you so far you can't go here listen you can't go here can you hear that mm -hmm. because this is not that mm -hmm. and just an increase in that will never take you to something else they don't worship me says the Holy Ghost and if you don't worship him and him only serve you will not get the new manifestation of the Spirit he says I won't give it to them they've been disallowed power of the world to come power of the WTC like I like to say 
powers of the world to come are what take you to the world to come does this make sense mm -hmm. some examples would be youth renewal youth renewal is a power of the world to come and it supersedes all sickness and disease your youth can be renewed to before the sickness began happening are you here yeah. I've preached on this many times permanent riches say permanent, permanent. Riches. riches that would be in the world to come not temporary riches first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in what uncertain riches but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy that is a power of the world to come get it straight verse 19 laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come that they may lay hold on eternal life permanent riches what is in the world to come the powers of the world to come are what power those things those are the powers of the world to come something that powers youth renewal something that powers eternal life something that power those are the powers of the world to come does that make sense yeah that's your answer it's whatever powers those things mm -hmm. what are the powers of the world to come whatever powers those things that are in the world to come and we are experiencing dispensational transfer a dispensational shift via these powers you can't shift over into the next without those powers and these are the new manifestations of the spirit that we are beginning to experience say I, I am, beginning am beginning to experience, experience the powers, powers of, the world of the world to come, come. and where do they take you Here. there they power you to go there mm -hmm. Is this good news mm -hmm. well I thank you you can't preach this kind of stuff in a congregation of sour pusses who hold board meetings behind your back and vote to have you removed mm -hmm. what went out you to see in the wilderness they went out to see John the Baptist they went out to see a new manifestation of the Spirit mm -hmm. but they had to go out to see it and I'm not slowing down in fact I'm going up my job is to say these things in a way that you can hear them and believe them and to go there and to take you with me Holy Ghost I thank you that the blessing of the Spirit Lord is upon these people and their ears that have heard and they shall know a new grace and a new way to be able to hear and see and understand the new manifestation of the Spirit which has been held hidden until these days and we shall know them and walk in them and fulfill all you've called us to fulfill transfer over into the new dispensational shift the new dispensation we worship you Holy Ghost in Jesus name Amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are God in the earth today you cause me to enter into new wealth dispensational wealth for the next dispensation I receive it and walk in it in Jesus name Amen Right here, Holy Ghost, your 